Hello and welcome to the second video of the unit Cartier Geometry. So remember in the first video, we talked about a kid who take, took three steps in the horizontal and then four steps in the vertical. And we discussed that the point that he started from was the origin, this x as you can see. And the vertical line is my y-axis and the horizontal line is my x-axis. Now let's say, let's, let's just change it a little bit. Let's say that um, instead of going forward or instead of going to the right side, the kids decides to go a little backward. So for example, if the kid is standing here, instead of going here, the kids decides to go over here in the opposite direction, as you can see from the arrows. We remember that one of these boxes represented one step, the second box two steps, three steps, so on and so forth. And same thing on the y-axis, one, two, three, four, five. Now let's say that um, the kid takes two steps towards the left. So now the kid should go one and two. Now one thing to note here is that if on my right side of the x-axis, one box represents one step, then on the left side also it should represent one step. However, since we're going in the opposite direction, it would, it would be minus one and not just one. So the first box is minus one, the next one's minus two, the next one's minus three, minus four, and so on. And um, you can see that this right here is basically a number line, because there is zero here, one, two, three, four, and then zero, minus one, minus two, minus three, and minus four. All right. Now, um, the kid, also, he takes two steps to the left, and then he takes three steps backward. So my kid is over here right now, and he takes one, two, three steps over here. This is where my kid is now. Exactly like the horizontal line x-axis, we're going to do um, the same thing for the y-axis. So one box represents one unit on the upper direction or the positive direction here. In this direction, this would be minus one, minus two, and minus three. So the coordinates of my kid here are minus two comma minus three. Sorry, not just three minus three. I just put a minus in, I'm sorry. All right, um, let's see if he really understood these well. For instance, let me just change the color. I'm sorry, I'm a little um, particular about the colors I use. I, lo I love to play around colors. All right, now let's say that this is a point P and this is a point Q. I want you to pause the video here. Really pause it, no cheating, okay? and then see if you can tell the coordinates of P and Q correctly. All right, I hope you've paused and unpaused now. The coordinates of P would be, remember, we said the X coordinate first. The X coordinate of P is three, and the Y coordinate of P is also three. Hmm, interesting coincidence. And the coordinates of Q would be, the X coordinate of Q, as you can see, is minus four, and the Y coordinate is minus three. So one thing that we can conclude, um, if this is my origin, the right side is the positive side of x, the left side is the negative side of x. The forward side, or the straight line in front of me, is the positive values for y, and, and what's behind me, or like beneath me, that's the negative values of y. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys next time.